welcome back, and we're moving into our third, uh, third, third segment for the morning. I'm so used to saying third and final, but our fourth <laughs> segment for today. And we will be talking now about the big upcoming Banana Fest for this weekend. Now it's going to be at, uh, in San Juan, and San Juan is right. We used to be Copen, man, back in the day. Can you remember Copen? Mm, uh, I haven't gone that far. See, he's been to that area now <laughs> since it's been paved, all right? <laughs> but nonetheless, in with us, we've got uh, Victor, Victor uh, Juarez. Juarez. Victor Juarez, who's, of course, a member of the Banana Fest uh, Committee. And also Leticia Alvarez, who is in with us. Uh, guys, good morning and welcome. Morning. It's so nice good to morning. have you in. Good morning. good morning. Thank you very much. Everything banana? Everything Even banana. the shirt, Nakota banana? <laughs> Everything Hopefully banana. in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, the big banana fest is this weekend. Uh, we can see here it's the first time this will be held. Who came up with the initiative? Yeah, that's it. Um, this initiative was, um, this was a brainchild of San Juan Bosco RC School. Okay. We discussed, we met, and we we came about with it because you know we're in the banana belt. Yeah, that yeah. area is known as the banana belt. Yeah. And so we wanted to um, display and show the importance of the banana to this to this district, the Stan Creek district, and to Belize on a whole. Mm -hmm. You know, we export bananas. So that was the brainchild of San Juan Bosco RC School, and we bought some some of the companies that deal with banana on board, and they gladly bought into it, like Fives, a uh, big group of companies, the Lago. Yes, they embraced it, and they helped us. So Fives, big quick group of companies, just to mention a few, the Lago, mm -hmm. um, Humana. Humana, and those other um, companies, they came aboard and they embraced this idea. What, 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 what is this? Is this a banana? Um, Actually, this is the final product of some green bananas, uh, which is classified as banana flower for us in our raw wow. terms. We're still trying to find a commercial business name for this product. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Ms. Alvarez clearly mentioned, it is an initiative to promote the use of banana, mm -hmm. uh, to say that we can do many more things with bananas. And since we have bananas in the south, mm -hmm. then we start with the bunch of bananas. Remember, our theme for this fest is bananas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the bunch that builds the south. So this is made out of the green bananas. This. And this, the which flower. we classify it banana is, flower. Yes. And this is the final product, a banana pizza. cross pizza. Right? If you, you see yeah, the you know, coloration so. that you have here, it's because of the process of bananas. They go through the process of um, Caramelization? Yeah, uh, that, that's the correct word there, whereby they would change their color once they're being exposed to too much oxygen. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. whenever that happens, we have this coloration on the, on the banana crust, mm -hmm. which I challenge you to taste it, and it's very nice if you would want to taste it Man, live on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> give, 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 give me a leave. Get right there. Give me a leave, break. And I'll definitely taste it, because that's what I like to do. All right, so check this out, Kevin. And We're talking here banana, banana um, do pizza. My first time ever tasting it on make, screen. Make sure you get a close up. <laughs> mm -hmm. How is it, John? You can try it. Go ahead. I, I, I would. I just. Uh, Dude. Uh, no, you I. You don't like the color. You can pin from the side. He's not a meat guy, but. Yeah. Pin from the side. Let me yeah. taste the crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just taste the crust. That's the point, right? All right. So, um, so this is where this idea is coming, and this is just one of the products that is coming about. There are many other products that we display here, mm -hmm. and I would like Ms. Um, Alvarez to carry on thereafter. But this one I have here is mm -hmm. the, what we call the banana cheesecake. Mm -hmm. banana cheesecake. Right? This is banana. the banana cheesecake made by our own local people there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if some of our own people are listening, this is like the perfect idea for entrepreneurship. I guess this is a very great idea for a new business in the area. Mm -hmm to be able to make use of the bananas mm -hmm. and to subsidize for employment and make some finance. You know, you, are. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, okay. you know, right now, um, fruit fests are in style. There's a cashew fest, there's a cacao fest, there's a mango fest. What makes the banana fest um, different and interesting, apart from the fact that you have bananas? What makes it stand out? I guess that the idea of making the bananas stand out, the first one would be that, as you mentioned, there are many other fruit fests. Yeah. So if bananas is one of our fruits, 
Then um, actually, someone said that banana is a berry, so which it's is berry. interesting, yeah. It is. So if it is there with us, then we don't like want it. It doesn't look like, right? <laughs> but that is what the facts are saying, mm -hmm. and then we might disagree, but let's, okay. you know, product for research. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get somebody's phone and ask Google, is banana a berry? <laughs> Great, yes. and let them, because let you know, guys. We, we, I, I had no idea. We know about banana in the country because that's one of our meccas. Mm -hmm. We know about banana, yeah. mm -hmm. and we didn't know that, you know, all these Pro properties, mm -hmm. uh, 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 what, what, berries? Mm -hmm. Berries. My oh God, I didn't know. From the research that we did. Yeah. Actually, they also told us that for the um, ripe bananas, the inside of the ripe banana, I had a couple there. Mm -hmm. When you have like a mosquito itch, when your skin itches, you get the inside of the banana peel and you rub it on top wow. and that should let it disappear, mm -hmm. including the one for the poison ivy. Mm -hmm. so really? Right? Yeah. So, so, in addition to, so in addition to actually having products on the on display at mm -hmm. the fest. Mm -hmm. There will also be information about banana and about the banana industry yes. there as well? Yes, um, on Friday, this fest starts on Friday with our opening ceremony at three at the banana festival site, which okay. is on the field in San Juan village. Mm -hmm. Now I need to explain this, that Copen is to the back, San Juan is to the front, maybe five minutes ride on a bike. So at three on Friday, we will be having a, a, an opening ceremony on Friday night, we have a dance. Mm -hmm. This is pertaining to the Banana Fest as well. We'll be having a dance at Bukana Bar with Sweet Pain, baby. Mm -hmm. $10, right? We are inviting everybody from the surrounding villages. And even if you want to come for Belize, to come for the dance. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, Sweet Pain and Super G. Next, on Saturday morning, we'll be having uh, the, sorry, the official opening now with a parade from Farm One. That is one of the farms in Copen. Mm -hmm. So... Our school, San Juan Bosco Asi School, has a, um, has a little marching band. We have a band, which consists of um, like 90 members. Wow, it could be that's a not a more. little band. And in that parade, when it, in that opening parade, we'll be having the little queen. We'll be having, we should be having Miss, uh, the queen of the bay nice. um, there. And um, we will be having a, a marching band from Guatemala, which consists of over 100 band members. They're wow. coming in for this <laughs> fest. Now, this is the magnitude of this fest. It shows you how big this fest is. And um, they will be there, so we will march from, from Copen to the site. Mm -hmm. And then there will be uh, the, the of, um, opening ceremonies and, you know, what comes along with it, the perks that comes along with it. Mm -hmm. Also, on that Banana Fest day, there will be, um, we will be having Miss, a very important event. One of our main attractions is Miss Banana Belt Pageant. Really? For the first time, we're having a Miss uh -huh. Banana Belt Pageant. Um, now, who will be vying for this? The students from the high school, we did that because they are, more, they are better able to articulate themselves about and research and facts about the banana and the banana industry. So we are, we are having four contestants, three, four contestants, yes. Mm -hmm. And they will be vying for the um, title of Miss Banana Belt, the first ever Miss Banana Belt. High school okay. students. So high there, school is there students. a high school in San Juan? No, not in San Juan, but in Independence, which is like 10, 15 minutes from like there. Like, like 10 and minutes away. Georgetown, yeah. GT Tech. Mm -hmm. The students from San Juan either go to Independence, I switch, it's 10, 15 minutes from there. Or GT, GT Tech, which Tech is almost 10, 15, 10, 15 minutes, minutes away. away. Yeah. So all of these schools are in the banana belt. And the other schools that are coming in are from the Griga area, which should be the Lille Lille. Academy mm -hmm. and uh, Stan Creek, where we have a communal high Lille. school. So this is integrating our females and their potentials into promoting bananas. Mm -hmm. you know? wow. Like besides yeah. promoting the idea of bananas as a great product, uh, and it's usually exported to the Big Creek port, mm -hmm. which is the biggest port in our country. Mm -hmm. And um, we're trying to expose people to our exports, our money makers, the bananas. And at the same time, the venture is to try to do some fundraising. You know, yeah. we're, in a, we're in a school whereby we need to be bringing about ideas and creativity to ensure that we can perform and give our students yeah. some quality education. And all these brings it apart so it that is, is another purpose of the banana and, and this, this is ingenious i mean i have to applaud of the course. person who came up with it and the people oh. who are executing it because um i, I hope that it takes another step mm -hmm. as well i hope that it gives the students the opportunity to look at something that's really available to them to see if they can create jobs for themselves because yeah. an entrepreneur can actually look at some of these things and look at creating a business yeah that's because we have what's what's on the on the extreme end. In right, what is, is this? What yes. Is this is, these are, sorry, hush puppies made out of banana. Okay. And we have the sauce. What are hush puppies? 
Well, to me, these, you're are, lucky these were made from grated bananas, <laughs> and yeah, the young lady put, um, you know, um, <laughs> the what is it, banana, the, the grated green bananas, bananas the green bananas, and the at eggs, and this. Uh, and um banana flour mm -hmm. yes and banana flour another ingredient bed crumbs yes that was, that was uh, what i was looking for and we have the sauce here and she did i think mix it up and bake them well, these know. are baked and these are two different sauces um but um john asked me earlier what brought up this banana fest right and mm -hmm. um we need to mention something very important we have two campuses. We are the only school around there that, have, that has two campuses. Mm -hmm. One in San Juan, one in Copen. Like I said earlier, San uh, Copen is like five minutes walk from San Juan. So we wanted to have one central campus. And this is the major reason why we started this, um, this event, this okay. banana fest. To raise funds so that we can have one central campus. So that some, because at our school, San Juan campus holds from infant one to from preschool, infant sorry, to from preschool two. to infant two. The back campus holds from standard two to standard six. Standard one to standard standard, six. standard one, sorry, to standard six. So we want to centralize everything and have well, it. Well, you guys have definitely done amazing because I didn't even know about the school. So yes. it brings awareness not only to the school but to a wider national uh, issue. And actually, being here that. this morning in this show mm -hmm. is. Uh, evidence there that this event has a great magnitude and we're trying to expose to the wider community and not only to our San Juan mm -hmm. with the hope that somebody it's at some time going to decide and say guess what we can create our own banana products in Belize we're going to get our students in the primary schools to want to be able to become entrepreneurs mm -hmm. yeah, and actually right. find a reason for education because yeah. many at times our mm -hmm. students don't want to go to school because there is a lack of motivation or they might say what will i do after this yeah right so now our high schoolers are coming into the pageant they will be exposed after this they're going to tertiary level education whereby they can decide and say guess what at the high school level i discovered this mm -hmm. now i want to go and find out how i can turn this into, into a business, business. Mm -hmm. right yes, this is the banana paper sauce the banana jelly. Banana right. pepper sauce? Yeah. Wow. Banana, thing, um, Competition to mount yeah. shots, right? Open it. Oh, open it. Banana pie. Ah, yeah, you can put banana muffin so here. Banana tortilla. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> banana bread. <laughs> Alright. Um, banana muffin. Yes, that is banana. Those are banana muffins. And what is this one? This is banana jelly. The banana jelly. Okay. And this is banana pie. Now this is... I need to explain something about this. This is... From the same green banana, it is cut, dried, and pounded. Mm -hmm. And then we have easy, cut, dried, pounded. And this is a flower. That can banana make flower. It. Yes, this is it. It's from this green banana, it has to be green though. Pieces are made out of banana flour, the crust. Mm -hmm. green. This are the banana flour. Mm -hmm. Pepper with the banana. Mm -hmm. the, the, Ripe the, banana. You know, cheese, banana cheesecake. cheesecake. Ripe bananas. You know what's missing, right? Mm -hmm. What? There should be a banana drink. There are banana bananas. Yeah, there, there will be. be. There and will be. be. Ah, this is my favorite banana, banana drink. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Drinks. Yes. <laughs> and um, before before we end, I would like to say that there'll be a food court on this on on, on the banana fest site, a banana hosted food court. by our school banana avengers, mm -hmm. so the people can banana come. Avengers. Our our yes, banana 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 banana, 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 banana avengers, avengers giving banana back avengers. to banana what they deserve. Mm -hmm. So it's banana avengers. avengers. Wow. And the reason why maybe we do not have alcohol here or any alcohol drink it's because we're representing a primary no, school no, not, institution not alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so next time no, when you get to the banana fest, <laughs> you'll have it right there your man is going very far i was speaking, <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking about a banana shake banana, oh, okay, okay, okay. banana you know what i said banana cool here joe <laughs> but you know what one of the things i must say because i've been tasting i'm having breakfast while you guys are chit chatting i notice banana pizza it's off the hook. I mean, it tastes so. It, it, it reminds me of banana fritters, mm -hmm. green mm -hmm. banana fritters. Uh, of course, it, it, there's a lesser to it because of the banana flour. Mm -hmm. The banana that that's nice. Mm -hmm. This is actually hush puppies mm -hmm. with banana pepper, mm -hmm. banana hush puppies puppies with banana, with sauce, banana, banana sauce, sauce, banana pepper, and banana mold. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yes, so our food court will be there, and um, people are um, our our visitors on that day. You can go to the food court mm -hmm. and taste products made from banana. Beside these, we'll be having the things that are regularly known, like that are um, choco that are banana, choco banana, right. bundega, mm. tapo, mm. darasa. Yeah. Yes. So you can go and taste at the food court, and then you can buy in larger amount. I'm hoping yeah. after you've tasted it, we'll be giving little sam samples, and mm -hmm. then after you've tasted it, you can purchase in 
And I'm sure we're almost ready to close in. And the final thing I want to mention yes. about the green sponsors. bananas is um, thank you to all our sponsors, even if we can't mention you all. But there will be one of the main attractions, a green banana. This I want to hold them because there will be what we call a, you know, in TV they have the chopped chef. We're going to have a green banana cookout. Wow. Really? Yeah, that's going to be another of the main attractions. And the winner is going to have to use green bananas to produce some food that will be there to be judged and tasted by our judges. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that they will be looking for the best. And the price is $500 cash. Wow. Mm. Banana mm. fest, banana, green banana cookout, banana belt pageant, banana food. Everything bananas. San Juan Bosco is going bananas <laughs> this <laughs> weekend. And we will be having ban um, Banana Fest t-shirt to sell, t-shirts, v, t v neck. All right, it. there we go. Just make mention of your sponsors um, and then um, we, uh, I need to mention these um, sponsors, platinum sponsors. We have five, big group of company, Humana, Bellican, PMS, Love FM, Creme, DreamWorks Productions, uh -huh. and Travelers. All right, All right, so there we go. Victor and Leticia, we thank you so very much, You're man. Welcome. This weekend is definitely one to recommend. It was a nice time tasting banana for Banana Fest this coming weekend. But we've got to take that break. And when we come back, we'll be venturing See off into a weekend. commercial thank with, uh, actually, into a show with uh, Belize Voluntary Blood Donors Association. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you.